In today's episode of the podcast, I'm joined by the legendary Stanley Drucker, who is of course the former principal clarinetist of the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, a position he held for over 60 years. During his time with the orchestra, Stanley also maintained a busy schedule as a chamber musician and recitalist. He could of course be found performing at illustrious venues like Carnegie Hall, but you might be surprised to learn that he also performed quite often at venues such as churches and school auditoriums, which are places of course where you might not expect to find one of the world's greatest musicians. Today, our conversation focuses on this element of Stanley's work, and most notably the release of an exciting new 5-CD set called the Heritage Collection. This collection features live recordings made at many different venues, recorded over a 30-year span from the early 1970s to the mid-2000s. Stanley is joined in performance by world-class chamber ensembles such as the Juilliard String Quartet, and of course his wonderful wife Naomi Drucker joins him on one track per CD. Uh, She's also an accomplished clarinetist in her own right. You can actually purchase a signed copy of the album by heading to digitalforce.com slash clarinet. So I'm here today with the legendary Stanley Drucker. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Stanley. Pleasure, Sean. First of all, congratulations on this absolutely wonderful collection of music. Thank you very much. Uh, Jerry Bunky did a great job compiling all of this, and uh, he deserves a lot of credits for that. For those who aren't aware, this is a collection of music that's all sort of uh, live set settings, and the settings are not what you might expect for, for someone like yourself. What were some of the venues like when you recorded this back in the day for these pieces? You're absolutely right. It could have been a school auditorium or, or, or a large open area in a building, or, or, or it could be a library. Or it's, in one case, it was a wonderful chamber music hall in Tokyo. What's interesting and unique, I think, about this set is that all the performances are live. They're, they're not studio recordings. They were just as they were played for an audience. Uh, and uh, it covers a period, a long period of of time, of years, you know, for this set. And uh, it it sort of stoked a lot of memories for me over the years because uh, I I guess I was always pretty much in motion (laughs) to to play all of these things and then do the uh, kind of rehearsal and concert schedule that we had uh, with the the orchestra. Uh, the, The reproduction of these... Uh, pieces uh, on these discs is, is, is remarkable. I, I was amazed when I listened. Uh, they, they, was, they were really present. It's so, it's so funny to me, too, because the, the performance is just excellent. And I found myself, for example, the Poulonk, you know, halfway through, there'd be a little bit of auditorium sound or maybe someone would cough or something. And I had to remind sure. myself that these were live performances. That, that's true. And, and there's a mix of, of, uh, of uh, periods of music. Oh, uh, we have old music and, and middle and, and new. Uh, I, I feel that uh, this represents uh, uh, a lifetime of work, I think. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. 